Narrative techniques are methods and literary devices a writer uses to craft the elements of a story. One approach for a writer to get their message over to readers is through the use of narrative techniques. Pre-writing techniques There are many ways to get the creative juices flowing. There are some techniques on how to harness them for your own writing. First is to pick up a book and read. Good writing does not happen if you don't read. You have to be aware of the stories that are currently in circulation, or novels that worked, and novels that did not work. <coughs> Reading expands your concentration and your vocabulary. It exposes you to different writing styles. It helps you to subconsciously absorb syntax, grammar, style, and punctuation. Second one is use bookmarks. If you do most of your reading online, then take advantage of your browser's built-in bookmark toolbar and save your readings for future references. Using bookmarks helps us to take charge for own learning, reminding us what skill we should be working on every time we read. And with it, there's no need of scrolling through the document in order to find the text. Third is make lists. Writing lists is a great way to organize the thoughts in your head. It can be something as simple as listing qualities of your character or things that need to happen in a story to make it effective. Making lists allows you to emphasize important ideas. It increases productivity and decreases stress. It helps you to stay organized when writing your paper. It will allow you to break up your ideas into more manageable sections. Keep a story journal or baul. A story baul keeps your ideas for future stories, maybe a line of dialogue you cannot forget, a concept you want to explore someday, or something that catches your curiosity that could be used for your writing. Free writing. Practice sitting aside 5 to 10 minutes of your time each day and by writing anything on a sheet of paper. It can be just words repeated over and over again, a description of your day, or random thoughts. The idea is just to get used to the act of writing. Create and narrate. Each work of fiction is composed of scenes and summaries. Scene is a dramatic unit that begins at one fixed point in time and ends in another. It is composed of a sequence of actions that affect one another directly. Summaries a story cannot function without transitions between the scenes. These transitions are called summaries. Summaries are essentially narrative of the passage of time. Summaries compress time and accelerate narrative, presenting the reader with the necessary information before a scene begins. Hello, my name is Carl and I'm discussing the different techniques. Now, one of the techniques is foreshadowing. When foreshadowing, it represents it's a way of storytelling where it show, represents some hints that will happen in the near future. Like a shadow being cast by the object. Now the object is the, the hints that in the writing or in storytelling. And the shadow represents what is the effect or cause. Something like if a, an important individual was necessary in the storytelling, it will show what would happen in the future. <laughs> Next is midrest, which means mid-action. Now the storytelling in this would be the middle of, middle of things. Now that would be, for example, the story would start in the journey and they would have to use the different techniques in order to portray the story or continue the tale that's in a series. Now finally, flashback, which is a con in a storytelling where they go back go back in time to tell the past, like an origin story or a memory of the certain individual in this in the tale. That's about it.